what you're about to see people is not just a feud review it's an Arsenal's realist hammer lama ding dong beautiful best food review on TV it's a beauty it's Arsenal's realist we don't just do an advert this is a Marks and Spencer's advert beauty the horizon distance pain pleasure Hola, bonjour, man. How are Kenichi Wagwan? Hello. Do you know who it is, people? It's Arsenal's Realist. I want to thank you all for being here. You know who it is? That's a glove. Boy, it's one of the famous food reviews today, people, yeah? And this is a serious one, though, yeah? Basically, man's starving. The belly's starting to disintegrate in life, people. I know there's bad people out there that know what I'm saying. The diet out there is mad. Someone said something to me that resonated, yeah? I said, bro, I keep putting shit in my belly and I always feel empty. They said, bro, rustlers, burgers, pot noodles and peanut butter sandwiches and cocoa pops and fucking all this shit. It's not real food. When it goes in your brain, your, bo your belly, your brain don't even register it. You know them ones, so you're always going to feel hungry. So I said, what do you got to do? Then they started talking all this shit everyone says, bruv. You got to go and buy steak. You got to boil the potatoes with a seasoning. You got to sprinkle it like this. You got to get a smaragasa. You got to get aubergine avocado. You, bro, I don't know how to fucking cook this shit, blood. I was too busy, blood, when I was young, right? Trying to survive. But, yeah, man's not a good cook. I go to the shop, the ingredients, it looks like an equation from fucking... Rayman or something, bruv, I see a fucking, I don't know, dill, asparagus, jerk seasoning, chicken seasoning, lamb seasoning, I'm sure if I look twice, bing bing, I see Wenger hiding in the aisle, I look again, bruv, it's just lettuce, I lose my mind, man cannot do cooking, I'm shit at it, but a few things I specialise in, and I will show you them specialities one day, and I'm not even joking, the one few things I can cook, I'm the man, and I will challenge Gordon right now, I'll sprinkle shit on his cart. But, I woke up today, I've been doing the same thing for a long time, people, you eat shitty pot noodles, maybe a one or two fruit, a bowl of cereal, a toast. Man's always ill, bruv, man's never quite hungry enough. So, I put the test to the challenge. The challenge to the test, people. So we're gonna do a few of we went to the duppy place. We went, and it's all, listen, man, I ain't got better money to keep wasting and spending. Everyone's, what did people say to me? Oh, look at your kitchen. You must be a bowler. Well, thank you very much, eh? Let me come to your yard and I'll do it as well. But blood, man, still can't just throw money away on food because I haven't got it, yeah? So, let's have a look at what we're going to eat today, people. Boom! Look at this dirty little bitch we have here. Now, let's have a little look. Obviously, man, ain't fucking boot. Marks and Spencer's. Mill for one, braised steak, and mash. Bully! This looks like it's gonna cure some shit today. I will let you know, but before I do, let's have a closer look at it actually, quickly. One moment later. Blood, that looks fun. Have you ever seen a little bit of mash look more organized and more beautiful? I'll stick my dick in that mash. Listen. That'll get American pie, bruv. Is that even real mash? What the fuck is that? Is that yum? Is that steak and yum? Bruv, I'm starting to get put off. What is the, how can it look like that, bruv? Is there a tree that grows mash balls, blood? Blood, let me just read what this says completely, yeah? Let me hold it here, actually. You lot have a look at that while I read it. Meal for one, spray steak and mash with carrots and onion gravy. Northerners love gravy. All right. We've got the option of oven. 18 minutes, 190 degrees, or four minutes in the microwave. Blood, you know what we're doing, bro. This is the one that's got to be done. But let me show you something else, people, because we've got another possible option, what we can eat today. Have a look, people. This one, again, Marks and Spencer's, three for seven. Man got done dirty, I didn't see that. Oh, I bought two. But, bro, this is a chili con carne from Marks and Spencers. Again, like I said, we're choosing between the steak and the mash and the chili. Man's got to pick between the two quickly. It's early though, I haven't eaten much. Man, I'm looking to do a dragon thing, a Daenerys Stormborn. 
So I think I might miss the chilli, bro. But that mashed potato looks too organised, bro. It looks like government mashed potato. I'm scared of the mashed potato. Potato! <laughs> but let's have a little look again and let me just double check that's my decision. Okay, let's have a little look. See, the rice looks normal and real. Oh, blood, I opened a bag of rice yesterday. Two days ago, there was a maggot in it. I swear to God, that's a different story, though. It weren't Marks and Spencer's. It was Tilda or Matilda, whatever that shitty rice is called. So that's a chili con carne there. That takes four minutes in the microwave, 20 minutes in the oven. Then we've got the organised mash, which is very government nassery. But for some reason, I'm in a steak and mash mood. You get me? So I've made my choice, people. Look at this little bastard. Tea. You don't even stay down no more, people. It don't look. It's on. Look at the red. Oh, it's oh my God. Are you shit? Oh no. Bro, if I put toast in it, it won't stay down. I swear to you, it's only doing this now, piece of shit. But yeah, I picked this one, people. So let's get lagging. Steak mash. Steak and mash, man. Get it gassed. But before I make it, people, I've got to read the instructions. I'm already calling bullshit, yeah? Last time I didn't clock. When I done my Rustler's Burgers video, check the description. The link's in the description for the Rustler Burger, yeah? I don't usually do shit like that. But... In the picture of the burger, there's all salad, tomato, cheese. Bro, none of that was there. I didn't even clock. But look at this, yeah? Here's the picture, people. Look at the mash. See how the mash is all organised and that? Like, bro, the mash ain't like that. I showed you what the mash is like. But, bro, look at the mash there. It's not a big picture. Can you see how it's all fluffy? Mountains. It's all piled on. This is what the mash really looks like, blood. Blood, what's that? Look at that, bro. This, this is going to taste mad. It looks like a big tablet, blood. Look at this beautifully organised. Like I said to you, I'm not going to lie, people. There's an urge on me. I just want to stick my dick in it. I just want to finger fuck this mash. But, blood, can I say something? This is some government mash. See if I was a potato. Blood, me. I wouldn't be nothing like that. Some organised mash. Where have you come from all round and smooth? I'll be a hash brown, bro, from a dirty chicken shop. Potato ripped apart, stuffed back together, deep fried, tough as fuck, and tastes good too. I'll be a hash brown, can't lie. But let me read the ingredients quickly, people. And let's, let me just see what's going, what I'm about to put in my body. Hmm, let's have a little look here. Oven, 190 degrees, 18 minutes. Man, I ain't got time for that. From frozen, 40 minutes. Man, definitely ain't got time for that. Nobody ain't got time for that. It's a microwave thing. Four minutes, we'll do that. But let's have a little look. Ingredients, potatoes, 45%. Hmm, that's a lot of potatoes. That's a big lump of potato there, blood. What else is in it? Water, no percentage, you know. Cooked British beef, 15%. Onion, 7%. Carrots, 5%. Butter, milk, repeat oil, rapseed. Brother man's got some rapsody oil in this bitch. Corn flour, whole milk, roast beef stock, water, beef, bones. Allow yourself blood. Yeast, extract, salt, sugar, red wine. How are you putting alcohol in the thing, blood? See what I'm saying? Lee will eat this all day. Tomato puree, salt, beef, gelatine. Mmm, some beef bones, blood. Balsamic vinegar, concentrated mushrooms. Bruv, I can't just stick a normal mushroom in there. Well, you got to concentrate it. Why are you making it concentrate? Vinegar, sugar, syrup, theme. Ground black pepper, dried onion, sugar. Tamarind extract, garlic puree, lemon oil, ground cloves. For allergies, see ingredients in bold. What, they got some secret ingredients somewhere? See what I'm saying? Bullshit blood. Where's this next ingredient? I can't see it, but let's see that. We're on the topic of nutrients. Energy, 383. Calories, 91. Fat, 2.5 Gs. Saturated. Don't acids. Oh, bruv, what's this bullshit? Carbohydrates, 9.9. .9. I don't know what nothing means, blood. Either way. Let's see how it says to cook this bitch. Microwave, guide on the back, rare, rare, rare. Bro, it's got everything on here except how to fucking cook it. Are you shitting me, bro? This is Marks and Spencer's. This has got to tell man the deal quickly. One sec. It says four minutes, remove sleeve, pierce film, four minutes. Oh, is that it, blood? Fucking hell. All right, let's do that. He says remove sleeve. That's gone. Now it says, drook up the thing. Man, fucking with that perfect mash. Man's pissed the thing. 
Now we've got a sticker on the LZ, the landing zone. Moolid! We're there, people, she's there. The beauty, the steak, the government. Look at that potato, bro, I'm still amazed. But yep, yeah, let's slap that bitch in. This, oh, this thing pisses me off as well. Time, four, zero, zero, on a bullet bang, bang thing. Now, before I press start, we want to get the camera in position. Okay, let's go. I'm going to fast forward this. Sounded like some mad noises in there. Ping-a-ling-a ding dong, let's see what's cracking. Alright, it looks exactly the fucking same. Oh, it's a little bit hotty what ding dong. But here we go, people, it looks disgusting. Let's take the cling film off. Oh yeah, yeah, bitch. Burn me like a kipper. Let me stick that there for a sec. The mash is still in perfect condition. Let me get organized better, people, and we'll be back two seconds. Okay, we're here, people. It's right in front of me. Let me show you quickly a quick look. Here we go. This is a little closer. I've not mixed it. I've not touched it. I've got it out of the microwave. I've ripped the sleeve off. It's still bathing in its juices, and that mash is still in exact, complete sync and confirm confirmation formation, and it's brilliant. This has got better formation than Arsenal. But as I look, people, I'm going to take a little sniffer with a ding-dong. Give me a sec. I want to get a good smell because the Rustler's Burger smelt deadly. It tasted half decent, but it smelt deadly. Let me get a little smell of this. Do you know what? First thing, I can't lie. I'm not better who's going to sit here and lie, bruv. It smells like steak, gravy, carrots and mash. I'm gassed. I'm gassed. It's beautiful, man. It's gassed. All right, let me get a little fork. Let me mash her up. Let me see what it's saying, how it looks. To get me in the picture, it was all lumpy and it's all smooth here. Let's have a little look. Texture's mad important, so we know that. This is what I'm most curious about. Oh my God. That's a, this is a plastic spoon knife fork as well. I've done it on purpose. Okay, let me just give this a good little fuck. Ah, oh, blood. That's a bad sign. Let me, let me taste a bit quickly. I shouldn't have done this. It's too soon. Oh no. Oh my god, you got to see my fa Oh my bloody god. Oh my, I'm losing it. One sec. Marks. Who are you, Marks? Who are you, Spencer? That mash... <gasps> it's already curing my stomach, my pains, my ills. Everything's going. I don't care if it broke the fucking fault. That's because the potato is so strong and powerful, brother. I, 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 I'm losing my shit, blood. Blood, I need to open the cooker. 
Light will come on, bruv. Turn the light off. I'm not a hash brown. Earlier I claimed I'm not this mashed potato. I'm a hash brown. This is the government mash. It's in form. I am. That is fucking amazing. Do you know what? I've got to stir the steak and the shit up quickly, but already it almost don't matter. That was amazing. Oh, let's have a look at the meat. This is mad. Boom. Now, let's mix it. Blood, man's using a broken fucking fork. All right, there's this thing. Now, let's give this a little mix. Let me give this a little mix of wicks of ding. I'm not going to lie. The sauce looks a little bit orangey, but these are big lumps of fucking steak, you know? No, bro, this is dark. Let me take some of this gravy. Let me have a carrot. It's going to be all in the gravy. I'll tell you now what's crack a in the ding dang bocking. Let me turn the camera around so you look and see. Because you need to see it go in a belly. You know what I'm saying? All right, this is going to be, this is, I'm dipping it now. I'm dipping the carrot in the gravy. You never thought you'd hear a man say that. Now, under the, oh. Here we go. The bunny's gonna get it now, and I don't care. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, okay. It's a thin gravy sauce, which I suppose is good. Because you're getting it cooked. It is in a box and you're reheating it. It's thin. It's not powerful, powerful. But it is gravy. The carrot tasted fresh. I don't know how it's fresh. What are they sticking in it? This so far is beautiful, people. I'm gonna have to take a couple bites and give, let you lot see and give you a real description of the party that's going on in my mouth. But after that, I'm gonna have to box it all and then tell you, but let me, let me get ready. Buddy! People, it's on, I'm close to the camera. I don't care, I'm super gassed. Listen, you can take a look at it. Oh, nearly, blood never again. I will try and nearly lose that. It might look like shit, I was gonna say. Blood, this is the best potato I've ever tasted in my life, yeah? Best! But I need to have a couple professional, it's a wooden spoon now. It might cost you a fork, people, but I'm telling you it's worth it. Now, let me mash this up properly because man's got to get the inspiration. See, it's starting to look like the picture as well, look! They weren't lying, blood, they weren't lying. But look at the size of these hunks of bastard mash. Let me dip a bit of gravy on there. I need to have a bit of this meat because this is the final test, blood. Blood. This is the final. Man can't get none on the old Bala Walla Rooney. I have had better meat in my life, but it's bloody lovely, bruv, with that gravy, that mash. Now I've got to do with a one hit combo of the lot. A bit of mash, a bit of gravy, carrot. These are little bit of meat. These meats are so big, blood, I can't get a little bit. Oh, there's a little bit there. Bit of carrot. All right, it's on to the long dong King Kong. Where's the meat gone, blood? Oh, blood, this is like a game. Okay. One sec. Oh. <clears throat> Do you know what? That is hammer. Lama, ding dong, I say it again, it's hammer, lama, ding -y. Blood, one sec people. People, it's too banging, it's actually really lovely. It's right there, you can see it. Man ain't lying, man ain't denying. It tastes so good, I might start crying. Blood, I'm gonna box it all off, I'm gonna box it all off, and then we'll talk again. <coughs> people. I boxed the living shit out of that. I'm not gonna. <coughs> oh, it's like I've the zoo blood. Man, it's coughing and shit. That's how pink the steak was, yeah? But, bro, let me show you just so you look to see what it is. I've literally just, just finished it. It's sinking in my belly right now, and I want to give an honest, honest um, opinion about this because it's actually important. Because if you can get free for seven pounds, with a chili con carne as well and all this stuff. That's actually, for what I'm tasting and feeling, it's actually really good and really important. So let me let it settle and let me give you my honest verdict. Well, people, it's digested, I'm relaxed, I'm currently chilling. 
watching Border Forces, Canada Border Forces, yeah? A bread I like Terry from the football terrorist just got caught with half a kilo of crack up his bum. And when they caught it, he was laughing and loving it. I actually think it was him. But let me give you my honest opinion on the steak and mash with gravy, onions, carrots and potato. Potato! No, honestly. Now, when I looked at it, you saw it, I thought the mash was a little bit too... It looked too perfect. It looked like it was made from some fake place. The steak... Now, the sauce was a little bit thin. It didn't look the greatest, although it was brown. But on the camera, it even looked a bit lighter than that. I saw it. But the sauce was there, and it was plentiful. There was a lot of it, and the phone's ringing again. Always when man's doing the ting a ling a ding dong <clears throat> But... I'm not editing it because this is my honest opinion. My food's digested. Like I said, Canada Ball Force, but, um, Canada Balder Force, seen Terry on it. I knew it was time to do the video. The mashed potato, like I said, it looked fake. The gravy was thin. Two big hunks of steak in it. Usually when you get these micro kind of moves, you see some thin meat, the steak or the beef, and you're not quite sure whether it's cat, dog, do you know what I mean? Chicken, giraffe, horse. Horse has been in the meat in the last few years, bruv. I've got to stop moving my belly, bruv digesting but the mash actually i don't know how it come in that formation the best formation i've seen since i've seen the 442 but it was beautiful it was thin mixed with it had a consistency to say it was thick but it was creamy and thin and it had a real good potato taste so big ratings to the mash now the gravy what i realized what i done wrong was that i should have took it out of the little container put it in the plate because the gravy needed to be on top of the mash but when you was eating the mash with the gravy, the combination was really nice. The gravy by itself was a bit thin and watery, but the taste was nice and it mixed well together. The carrots tasted fresh and the steak, like I said, it was just two beautiful hunks. And that was better than having all these thin little chewy pieces that you don't know. So ultimately, that Marks and Spencer's steak and mash, out of 10... I'm going to, well, before I give it the market, I have to say, I can feel the nutrients in the belly. I can feel the power. It's not like having a pot noodle or a Rustin's burger, you eat it and then you fart a fucking, do you know what I mean? You fart a chemical weapon at. This is beautiful, bro. The farts taste like fucking haze air freshener. They're beautiful smelling. The steak filled you good. The protein, the potato, so and three for three of them. For seven pounds, if you get a chili con carne. So two of them and a chili con carne. I will review the chili soon. Oh boy, I can't give it a 10 out of 10 because that means there's a real steak and mash out there. So that, what will that get? So I'm going to have to give this an 8 out of 10, people. Mark Suspensers, you smashed it. That was brilliant. You've seen what it is. Have a look at it, buy it, taste it, and you tell me what you think. It was brilliant, people. 8 out of 10, I will eat it again, and I've got to eat more of that kind of shit because it tasted like real food. You know who it is, people? It's Arsenal's Realist. Make sure you love your people. Make sure your people love you. Thank you.